Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will draw a ladder diagram for logic gate circuit. So let's look at the example first. Example 23. There is AND gate with the output A and B naught. And then there is another AND gate with the input C and D naught. And then there is another AND gate with the input E and F naught. Then there is OR gate with the output of A B naught, C D naught and E F naught. So we will use normally open contacts for the input A, C and E. And then we will use normally close contacts for the inputs B, D and F. Firstly, we will connect A and B naught in series and then we will connect C and D naught in series and then we will also connect A and F naught in series and then we will connect A, B, C, D and E, F in parallel. Thus, we will implement OR gate. So let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab. Here is a list of different logic controllers, but I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. So the logic controller that is TM221C24R has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line where I can select protocol. I will select it as TMH2GDB and then I will click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then I will zoom into it like this. So I will insert one normally open contact and one normally closed contact and I will connect them in series. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0, .0 and then I will add address to it. I will add symbol to it as A. Yes. And then I will assign address to this normally closed contact as I 0.1 and I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. So here we have connected A and B in series. Thus we have implemented AND gate. Then I will insert one more normally open contact and one normally closed contact. So we have connected these in series. Thus we have implemented AND gate. But we have connected these two inputs in parallel with A and B. So here we have implemented OR gate. And then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.2 and address as I 0.3. I will also add symbol to it as C. Yes. And then I will add symbol to this normally closed contact as D. Then I will insert one more normally open contact and one normally closed contact. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.4 and then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.5. Then 
I will add symbol to this contact as E. Yes. And then I will add symbol to this contact as F. Yes. So here again, we have connected these two contacts in series. So in this way, we have implemented AND gate. But as we have connected A, B, C, D and E, F in parallel, thus we have we are implementing OR gate here. And then I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to this coil as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as Y. Yes. So I need to connect these contacts. I will click on this option and draw a line like this. So here we have connected A and B in series. So we implement, implemented AND gate. And then we have also connected C and D and e, F, e and F in series. So here also we have connected AND gates. And then we have connected A, B, C, D, E, F in parallel. So, so we have implemented OR gate. And then we have used normally closed contacts here. So in this cases, we have implemented NOT gates. So for output Y to be on, Either A should be on and B should be off or C should be on and D should be off or A should be on and F should be off. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning. Here I will launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So when I turn on A, the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on B, the output Y will be false. And then when I turn on C, the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on D, the output Y will be false. And then when I turn on E, the output Y will be on. And then when I turn on F, the output Y will be off. Or when I turn on A, C and E. The output Y will be on. So when A is on, B should be off. Or when C is on, D should be off. Or when E is on, F should be off. And then only Y will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.